Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me, especially on these Borderland videos. I'm starving. Um, I want to eat your babies! Son, this oh, might sting a bit. These stupid cutscenes. Um. But yeah, I thank you guys for showing me a lot of support, especially on these Borderlands videos. Um, Borderlands is like a game that pretty much everyone knows about, at least. It has a sort of cult following, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I love Borderlands, man. Like, Borderlands 2 is by far like the best, in my opinion. I love Borderlands 2. Uh, Borderlands 3 is it's pretty fun. I like it a lot. My computer can't really handle it though um, Yeah, this This is like well first of all this was the first Borderlands that I was introduced to the Borderlands Genre, you know, I've never played the first one even till this day. I still have not played the first one Quite frankly, I probably will never play the first one because I think this is the best <laughs> Even though I haven't played it, I still love this game. It's one of my top 10 best games of all time. Oh, well, I don't know about best, but it's my... It's on the top 10 favorite for me. Um, Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, Borderlands 2 is just one of those games where you can easily sink, you know, a few hours in a day. Um, there's just tons of things you can do, apart from all of the DLC missions, there's just so much stuff. <laughs> there's so many things you can do, uh, side quests, you know, the main missions, um, you know, all kinds of weapons you can farm, there's all kinds of things that this game has for you, uh, to make you just spend the entire day playing, you know? <laughs> That's why I love this game. So Borderlands 2, The Witcher 3, and Skyrim are my three favorite games of all time. Witcher 3, Skyrim, and uh, Borderlands 2, those are like my childhood games, if that makes sense. It, so I've played a lot of games growing up, like a lot, uh, and those are by far my favorite three. Uh, granted, The Witcher 3 is on the more recent side of my childhood. <laughs> uh, I would have to say Halo is like another childhood game. However, it's not on my top three. Uh, Halo Reach is like my favorite Halo game of all time. Now, fun facts, the first PC game I've ever played was Halo 1? I think it's called Halo Combat Evolved or something like that. Uh, my computer's kind of like lagging here. Uh, yeah, Halo Combat Evolved is... Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out what the press here? I haven't played this game in a while. And I'm still awful on mouse and keyboard with this game. Uh, there we go. I was trying to figure out how to use my uh, special ability. Oh my gosh. Somebody behind me? Uh, anyways, like I was saying, uh, Halo Reach is my favorite Halo. It is the best Halo, in my opinion. Changed my mind. Uh, but yeah, the first Halo was the first PC game I've ever played. And I believe I was around... I don't even know, like... Six years old or something? I'm not sure. It's, it was such a long time ago. Um... But I will never forget uh, 
I was actually terrified of playing Halo 1 as a kid because the grunts and like the elites, you know, they were fine. You know, they weren't that scary. Um, I'm talking about the Covenant, of course. However, uh, I forget the name of the big guys, the one that shot the uh, green plasma balls, those huge dudes, those huge aliens. I forget their names, but those guys scared the crap out of me. And I remember there was this one mission where you had to go into this area, this little, it was a closed in area, and there were, I believe, one or two of those aliens. Uh, and those guys terrify the heck out of me, man. The bloodshot bandit clan seems to be attacking the Firehawk's lair. They probably left landmarks for their reinforcements. I love those things. The Firehawk. That or just follow the screaming. Uh, I believe I said this already in my older videos. Set out. Uh, but if you get the handsome Jack collection. Uh, sorry, I'm not, I'm trying not to talk over these guys, however, like I was saying, um, these grenades that I have, if you get the Handsome Jack collection, these grenades are actually the best grenades in the game. Now, um, these grenades actually scale off of your level, and because of that, the damage gets extremely high as you level up a lot. To the point where if you take these grenades to the final boss of the game, you can easily kill the boss with just the grenades. And that's pretty OP in my opinion. But I feel like most people don't know that, or at least didn't already know that. This game has been out for a while now. <laughs> Well, the Handsome Jack collection has been out for a while. Um, and I believe those grenades first released with the Handsome Jack collection. I'm not sure if they were already in the base game. I'll have to look into that. I do need some better weapons because this gun kind of sucks. Uh, but I've been talking a lot about nothing. Uh, anyways. <laughs> the last video... I'm trying to remember. I think we... I'm not entirely sure what happened in the last video. On my screen. All I know is, is that we're trying to find the Firehawk. Uh-oh. It's a Goliath. Let me see here. Oh, there's a spider ant. Is he still alive? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section about um, your favorite location in the Borderlands 2 game. Just let me know what's your favorite area to go to. Um, now, what I mean by that is like... For example, um, let me see, uh, for example, my favorite location in this game, in the base game at least, is the Caustic Caverns. That place is really cool, um, and <laughs> when I first played this game, I actually had no idea it even existed. I just decided to go back to Sanctuary after it had uh, took off. Just out of curiosity, I'm like, I wonder what happened if I go to uh, Sanctuary after they, you know, went up into the sky. And funnily enough, there's an entirely new area down there. I didn't know that. But that is actually my favorite place to go to in the game. Um, because I just love the location. It's like really cool. And it gives the game a whole new vibe when you're down there. 
Um, but yeah, leave a, leave a comment what your favorite place is in the game is. Uh, I would have to say my second favorite place is probably... Uh, I don't know. I, w I don't know. I wouldn't say opportunity. Opportunity is pretty cool. Although I do like um, the Highlands. I think that's what it's called. Highlands Overlook or something. I like that area. That's pretty cool. Also, I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or not. Uh, let me level up right quick. Alright, what should we pick here? Uh, what is this here? Regenerates your health. I'll pick this again. I like... I love health regenerative mods. Or not mods, uh, perks. You can never go wrong with them. <laughs> you know, after a while, you'll start to, like, master how to throw these grenades. What is this? Um, because it's like an arc. It kinda it has like a reverse arc. Where it goes upward. Alright. Uh, what is over here? Oh, this is one of those explosive ones. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I forgot about those TDR weapons. They're pretty, uh, pretty cool. They're especially cool in Borderlands 3 because there's all kinds of crazy stuff they can do. Um, one of my favorite, like, variants of a TDR weapon in BL3 is, uh... <laughs> uh, the one that, like, walks around and shoots enemies for you. That is, like, the funniest thing I have ever seen in a video game. It's kind of random, to be honest. But even in this game, the TDR weapons actually get pretty crazy as you level up. Like, they start, like, when you throw them, they kind of, like, home in on enemies. I think they do that in this game. I'm not, I, I don't remember, to be honest. I haven't used one of them in quite a while. I know they do it in BL3. Um, but I'm not sure I'm be able to... If I can get up here. Uh, do me a favor and leave a like. Uh, leave a comment on your favorite location. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you know whenever I upload a new video because my videos are awesome, you know? My videos are super dope. Uh-oh. Yeah, hey, watch your mouth, son. You know, when I first played this game years ago, I actually disliked it. Uh... For a good reason, too. So, my brother actually had a an Xbox 360 that had a issue with it to where it had, like, the red ring of death. Or, you know, that's what they call it, at least. Um, like, the power button would turn red. Like, if the power brick didn't supply enough power to the Xbox, it would just turn off. Anyway, it's just Xbox had a problem to where I couldn't play it longer than like 30 minutes or something, and then it would just turn off. I, I couldn't play the game for longer than like 30 minutes or so, and so the only game he had was Borderlands 2, and I started playing it on there, and I could not get past the first mission. And because of the reason why the Xbox kept shutting off, I actually despise Borderlands because the intro was kind of slow, and on top of that, I just didn't have enough patience, and I was getting irritated, and the game just kept, you know, crashing because the Xbox was a piece of crap. <laughs> and I just didn't like Borderlands 2 at all. 
for that reason alone. It's not the game's fault, but I just thought it was kind of a funny story I should share. Uh, these things are like flying out the ground here. Oh my gosh. Give me a break, guys. See I can bounce this off here. That's too high up. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. This thing does like no damage against these guys. Uh, I don't know if I have to have like caustic weapons to deal a significant amount of damage to these guys. I don't think so because they don't have any armor, like armor bars on their health bar, on their EHP. Why am I using a fire weapon against a fire enemy? <laughs> it's kind of counterintuitive. Alright. It says we have to go down here. Oh. Uh oh. I was not anticipating that I would fall down there. I'm just gonna skip over there. I don't feel like dealing with those guys right now. thing with this game is that the enemies are just so weird and random like it's really funny I'm about to die here um, the voice acting is just crazy man <laughs> it's just so silly this game is very much not for kids What's up, man? Give me some more grenades, please. 